Hello friends, a warm welcome from Aussie's group. We are back again with our PT live session series and I'm very happy that I have Tanu with me today. Ma'am, how are you today? I'm good, thank you, Malcolm. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you so much for being here. Good to have you back after such a long time. Thank Same you. Here. Thank you. So, ma'am, we are doing the last stage of the listening module these days. Yes. And what is the task which you're going to see today? We will be doing highlight correct summary right. and it is one of the good tasks of uh, listening section. Right. It is generally in the first half of the listening task and right. it is an integrated task friends. Definitely. It contributes marks towards both reading and towards listening. Right. So friends as she correctly said generally this task is in the lower half of the first half in the first four tasks that is only the third or the fourth task in the listening yes. module. And generally we get two to three questions right. for this task. We'll be listening to an audio mm -hmm. and once the audio finishes, basically you'll see four options on the screen. It's there right from the beginning. And out of those four options, we need to select one Good. correct summary. That's right. So Tanu, then isn't this task, I mean, more or less same as multiple, multiple choice, choice, single answer. It is. It is very similar to multiple choice single answer or you can say multiple answer but yes. you just have to select one answer. One answer. And as the name suggests, you know, you have to highlight the correct summary. Right. So what is the meaning of summary? So a good summary is the thing, you know, which should have introduction, body and a conclusion. Right. So the right summary, the correct right. summary would be something that has got all these three thing, things in it. Right. And Friends, you have to be very, very focused when you are doing this task as you have to, you know, you, you for some people, you know, the trick works that they take notes, <clears throat> but right. I generally do not recommend you to take a lot of notes. Right. It is always good to, you know, note down the key points yeah. and some keywords so that you're not off the track Right. and just be very focused when you're listening to the audio, because I think that's the only thing that will help you figure out the right answer. Correct, very well put. So, generally we get four options. That's right. Now, I think the good thing in this task is that out of four options, two options easy are to generally easy to eliminate. Yes. They don't match much with the audio. Very right. So, which leaves us with two options which generally would be very similar in the wordings. Yes, that's right. And friends, as Tanu correctly said, that since the premise of the task is that we need to select a correct summary, and any correct summary means a generalization of the audio, mm -hmm. which will have generally three main parts. Yes. The introduction, the conclusion, and in between the body part. So out of those two summaries, only one will be a complete summary, I reckon. The That's other right. will be true, but partially complete, partially Yes, incomplete. just to cut short, the first and foremost important thing is to eliminate. Elimination, right. So once you are done with that, most likely you'll be left with two choices. Right. And the right option would be the choice you know, that is complete in itself, right. that reflects the complete audio. Right. Okay. And Sometimes right. Uh, the words are similar, but it can be to trick you also. Yes, that's what audio. I was coming to, that sometimes words are ditto from the audio, right. full sentences are from the audio. And that's where most of the students do get confused. They think that this is the right <clears throat> summary. But guys, that reflects just one part, part. of the audio and yes. not the complete summary. So more or less, if many words are repeated from the audio, could be like a trap or something. Yes, could so be. So basically read it again and make sense whether it's a whole encapsulation or not. That's right. So as the name suggests, summary. So something which is right. complete in itself. Right. And Tanu, since we already said that it's an integrated task of listening and reading. Now, why is it an integrated task of reading? I think because of the length of the options. Yeah? That's really right. Because options. it is very important to read the option to come to the right answer. Right. So basically, you know, we have to <clears throat> understand, we have to analyze the options, and then we have to combine the options and information from the recording, basically. We have to combine the information from the recording to get out to the right, right answer. Right. So that and is why, guys, we are yes. doing lots of reading in this. So the marks will go towards reading and towards yes. listening. Listening both. And now the scoring in this task is very straightforward, generally, friends. For every correct answer which you select, you get plus one. For every wrong answer, zero. But remember, since integrated plus one listening and reading both which means generally you get two to three questions means an opportunity to push up your reading and listening scores both by let's say two to three points right 
Right. So generally, if your target is 79, which it should be, minimum 79 each, if you want to cross 79 in reading, I reckon this task will help you, will help you a lot. Yes. So try to have a good accuracy in this task. And yes, also... But just yes, a quick note to you, tell you guys that you should not be wasting your too much of time on this task. Right. You know, sometimes the audios <clears throat> are already very lengthy. Very lengthy audios. Okay, right. Sometimes the audio could be between 60 to 90 seconds. Sometimes it could be even more, more than that. Know, yeah. So if you are, you know, if the audio is for 90 seconds, plus you take one minute to figure out the answer, it's right. going to be really hard to complete the listening task. Right, because listening can be really tight in the real exam. We don't know what time we'll get. And, you know, so, as we are getting feedback from yes. students who've recently given their exams, right. some of the students, you know, are telling us that the listening time, they've reduced the listening time. So we're not very sure about yeah. it. But then, again, a lot of students lot are giving students the feedback that, you right. know, the, the like, time is a big problem these even days. Even today morning, itself, one of my students, he had his test today at Swinburne. His name is Double. Even he told me that he got just 16 minutes after Already. the summaries. And yes. he had 16 questions remaining. Yes, one of my students, Nikita, yeah. she gave the exam last week and she told me the same very thing that she only got 17, 17 minutes. minutes. And she still had 14 questions to do. So basically, per minute roughly, yes. one minute per question, yes. very tight. If you can't manage the time frames, believe us, I mean, there's no way you can get and 79. I think most of you are aware that it is very important to complete the listening section yes, yes, because yes. right from dictation is the task which contributes a lot a lot, lot. yes massively yes in both yes. listening so and writing come what may you should not waste, waste time yes yeah. your time so roughly how much time should we take in highlight correct summary once audio finishes what would be the I, maximum time I, I would say not more than 20 seconds that's right you are right absolutely right not more than 15 to 20 seconds so what i can suggest also is that sometimes once three-fourth of the audio is over, yes. just start having a look at the options. Right. And then in the last 15 seconds before the audio ends, make up your mind, which is the right answer. That's right. It is very easy, guys. If you start <clears throat> with the elimination process, yes. I, you know, I know that you know, you'll be able to figure out the right answer within the next 20 seconds. Right. So, Tanu, I think let's get started with an example now. Yes. So, we have a question ready for you guys. Just try to be a bit attentive. The audio will be roughly like one minute in duration. So we'll just point the camera now towards the question. <clears throat> All right. So the audio will start playing in 10 seconds now. If you can just zoom it a bit, please. Yeah. Ball to physics 101. So the audio I will start playing in 10 Sorry. seconds now. Just give us a second, friends. It will start in a few seconds, please. I'd like to begin today by welcoming you all to Physics 101. I apologize if you feel the lecture theater is overcrowded today. By looking at the person sitting on your left and then at the person seated on your right, I can offer you some reassurance. By the end of this term, only a third of you will still be here. Yes, the dropout rate is high and only the most perseverant of you will remain. Please don't let my honesty dissuade you. Those of you who do remain with me to the bitter end, I assure you will have some fun along the way. All right, friends, so that was the audio basically. And as you heard it, it was about a lecture theater. So, Tanu, what was the first option like? The first option says a welcome message is given, which is right, a welcome message was given followed by a warning about the overcrowded lecture theater. But I could not figure out if there was any warning about it. Malcolm, what do yes, you say about it? That's right, Tanu. It clearly stated that a welcome message was followed by an I apologize. Apology, yes. yes. Not the warning, but she said that, you know, she's sorry for that, but not an warning. Not a warning. 
So and basically, as soon as we see that option, I think it's safe to eliminate, eliminate it straight away. That's right. So that is, this is the thing you should have in your mind how to eliminate. Many times the option would be just opposite to what's been said in the audio. So friends, please be focused while you are eliminating your choices as yes. it is very important to figure out the right answer. Yes. And the second option, Tanu? It says an introduction is given. It yeah. was not a proper introduction, but it was a welcome message followed by a cautionary note. Friends, do you reckon it was a cautionary note? Again, it was not a cautionary note because it was like an apology, right. but not a cautious thing. Right. So again, you can eliminate the wrong, second one. It's because it's not a cautionary note. It was yes. an apology. Yes. So Tanu, And also the yes, last please. bit of the second option says they are reassured <clears throat> that the course is well worth the inconvenience and may even be fun. But the audio said, the lady who was speaking in the audio, she said that the course will be fun for those who will continue to be with her. So there was, you know, no, no, nothing was mentioned about the inconvenience and may even be fun. So we can very easily eliminate this choice too. Right. So now Tanu, we are left with option number three and four. Right. And both have the word apology in them. Right. So now which one is the right one and which one is the easy one to eliminate actually? So guys, as you read the third option, which says a welcome message is given, which was there, followed by an apology regarding the overcrowded lecture theater, which is very right. Students are informed, they were informed about the overcrowded thing, that while the lecture theater will be quite full to begin with, the situation will change as students withdraw due to demands of the course. For those students who continue the course, the lecture promises that the course will be quite enjoyable. That's what the lady said towards the end of the audio. Right. That those who Continue. plan to stay, they will really enjoy it. Right. And the last option says, an apology is given to students taking physics 101 regarding the high dropout rate. There was nothing mentioned about the dropout right. rate. Right, so basically the apology was regarding the overcrowded lecture theater, not, not regarding the dropout, dropout rate. rate. So yes, definitely. The correct answer out of these options is option number C, Three, the third yes. option. And friends, yes, some of you have commented that the video quality is not clear. We apologize for that as well. And we will be posting the option soon once the video is over. So you can just have a look over there as well. So Tanu, I think with elimination, it's yeah. really easy to get the right answers. Jumping. It is. It is very easy because many times you will figure out synonyms and onyms which, is, which are being used. But friends, just a warning, you should not fall in the trap that if you listen to similar words from the audio, yes. be very careful. The option, the correct summary option should reflect <clears throat> the full, complete idea, idea. in the audio That's and not right. just one part of it. That's right. And as we said, we would again like to point out that as soon as the audio finishes, actually before the audio finishes, I think you should start seeing the options um, around right. 10, 15 seconds before the audio finishes so that quickly you can just eliminate the wrong one since you already have an idea of the main content in the audio. Yes, before even the audio begins, you get <coughs> 10 seconds. Definitely. And those 10 seconds are very important very vital, to skim yes. and scan. Right. Okay, so you can always, you know, figure out some keywords in few of the options just to have the idea of what the audio or the lecture could be about. Right. And that might help you too. Get the right Which answer. other tips and strategies, Malcolm, do you reckon they should use while? I mean, in this task, it depends actually whether you take notes or not, because PT is very smart, and the reason is that listening is the last module is that the mind is tired by the time we read this task or such yes. tasks. Mm -hmm. So basically, PT is not testing your English so much so that it's testing your Patience. concentration <laughs> skills. Actually, you need to be really focused. If you focus and understand the context. Yes. Believe us, you can't go wrong in this. It's yes. pretty easy if you have the right notes, if you need to take them. And the introduction and conclusion has to be that the right answer, yes. for sure. Yes, so remember, understand, analyze, and combine the information right. from the recording to identify the correct summary. Definitely. I think, Tanu, we have covered all the important tasks or all the important uh, ideas that need to be considered in this task. Okay. And now the question is that next week, which task are we going to take now? Friends, we would be taking up multiple choice question from the listening and it is multiple choice choose single answer. Right. It is pretty similar to yes, the... Yes, what we did right now. Yes. 
it is pretty similar it is also a low weightage task yes, definitely. you should not be wasting your time on it and we would be coming up with a lot more of information about that very task next week right but out of these three that is multiple choice single answer multiple choice multiple answers and highlight correct summary this one definitely is it's, the most important one yes, out is. of these three yes. because integrated you know anything that you know that is integrated that gives you marks for two things you yeah. should be focused on that task and especially sometimes you know the students are lagging behind just be because of one or two marks yes very unfortunate so they should not yes. let go of these little tasks definitely definitely easily. need to be really careful in such tasks all right tanu so i think we are done with most of the things today yes and, and how about the uh, malcolm how about the master class definitely thanks for reminding tanu yes friends this saturday that is 14th of april 2018 we do have a master class at our melbourne premises we do not have the class next saturday so in case you have your test lined up in the coming few weeks then don't miss this opportunity especially if you have your test on next monday tuesday wednesday or thursday that's right do take an advantage do take the advantage of attending this master class it will be held at our melbourne premises and will start at 11 am in the morning and go up to roughly 5:36 in the evening to register for that you just need to go to a website which is www.ptetutorials.com under coaching you will see the melbourne master class that is where you need to go and register yourself yes friends so again 14th is the master class and the following week which is 21st there would be no master class so if you've got your exam coming up please come and enroll for the master class and also about the fee structure malcolm definitely i got the like, exciting news for our friends definitely friends we have a great package lined up for you we have got two packages mainly main is called the unlimited package unlimited means till you get your desired score you will be enrolled with us you can take the benefits of our labs at all our premises by all i mean the melbourne cbd and the clayton premises till you get your desired score whatever it may be let's say your target score right now is 7 but let's say after 3 months eventually you need your, eight. Yes, your yes. agent tells you that you need to get get 8 for you don't have to pay anything months. friends you don't need to pay anything extra you can just avail our all the benefits and the fees is just 699 The regular fees are nine ninety nine dollars, but right now we are giving a discount of three hundred dollars. Which is a good discount. This is a massive discount, friends. Try not to miss this opportunity. Yes, you will have to pay the GST, but still, it's just six ninety nine dollars. And even if you go for the two weeks class, it is just five hundred and ninety nine dollars. So whether you join us at our Clayton branch or at the Melbourne CBD branch, it's the same fees. So basically, don't let this opportunity let go. We've got one question, Mark. Yes. It is from Fabius Santos. Yes. A quick one. Do the integrated skill task have always the same balance of points between main and sub skill? The same balance of points between the main and sub skill. So what you're trying to ask Fabio is that that do you actually get same marks for both listening and reading? But so the sub skills now see over here obviously the sub skills for example in this task that is highlight correct summary mm -hmm. there are no sub skills which have been tested yes i mean there are six sub skills obviously which you know fabio they are grammar oral fluency pronunciation spelling vocabulary and written discourse and this task is testing your listening and reading the sub skills just test our writing and oratory or speaking skills so in this task no it's not tested but again the answer to your question even the remaining task no it's not exactly the same balance I think some tasks have a different weightage for writing mm -hmm. some tasks have a different weightage for listening that's right so for example write from dictation it's not going to be the same weightage for both listening and writing for sure it's that's going right. to differ depending on the number same of words same as read aloud yeah same speaking. as read aloud it's not going to be the same for speaking and reading depends on the type of words in the sentence certainly so hope your question has been answered fabio all right so do we have any other questions then uh i think not No, I don't think there are any other questions on. So, I think we are done with today. Oh, yes, we do have a question now from Kavya. And she's asking that do we need to take notes for highlight correct summary? So, so Kavya, yeah. as we already mentioned, it depends on you how, you know, how how you can focus on this very task. Sometimes students think that taking notes helps them but the other at the very same time some students they feel that you know taking while they are taking notes they might lose their focus right so it is very important to practice and to see what works best for you i personally recommend to note down few keywords just, just keywords, while yes. figuring yes. out the answer you should not be off track yes. so it is good to note some keywords but not the proper notes i don't want you guys to you know write yes yeah. 
That's so right. She's, you, right. You should not lose your focus while you are taking down notes. Right. And Fab, uh, hope Kavya, you answered your question. Thank you for asking. And even Fabio has a question again that, for example, how many points go for listening and writing when getting 10 points from write from dictation? So again, Fabio, interesting question, but unfortunately, PT doesn't give a clear-cut answer. Yes. What they write is that you get one point in listening and writing per word. word. Yes. And unfortunately, they don't mention what that one point is. Whether it's actually one point out of 90, or whether it's a credit, it's a quarter of a point, three-fourths of a point, Peter yes. doesn't mention, unfortunately. The proper so description or breakdown of marks is not given anywhere. Not given anywhere. But generally we have seen that right from dictation requires a lot of accuracy. So the higher the accuracy, the more the score will be. In simple We've words. got another question from Ansa Sunil. Yes. And he's asking, listening total time, allotted, reduced or as same as previous? All right, Ansa, thank you for asking the question. Now, as we have been saying, even in the earlier video which we made last week and even today we said that since the past few weeks, many of our students have told us that in listening, when you get the timer after the summarized spoken text questions, that timer, according to the PT guideline, should have been 23 to 28 minutes. Yes. But what they have been getting is nowhere near 23 minutes. So it, it's random, it's not for everyone. But many students told them, told us, I'm sorry, that they've got like 17 minutes, 18 minutes, yes. 19 minutes, 20 minutes. And today morning, one of my students, in Dhawal, as I said, he had his test at Swinburne today. He told me he saw a timer of 16 minutes after the summaries. And so if you have somewhere between 16 to 17 minutes, that means you cannot afford to spend one minute on one question. Right, it's very, very tight. Hard. And he told me that he had two summaries, which means 20 minutes gone in summaries. After that, he had 16 questions remaining, and for those, he got 16. Yes. So a total That time includes the audios as well. Yes, that includes the audios as well, and you can't do next while the audio is playing, unfortunately, as you might be aware. Yeah. So his total time was 10 and 10, 24 minutes for summaries, plus 16, so just 36 minutes. And the actual guideline for listening is 45 to 57 minutes. That's right. So a difference of 9 minutes from what the guideline says. Yes. So, yes, so basically... Take the test with an open mind and expect it to be a bit tight and again we are saying it's not compulsory but yes you should expect the worst in PTE as far as this timer is concerned. The level of questions may be pretty easy. Yes. And we've got another question from Ahmed Ghi and he's asking <clears throat> what are the current changes in PTE? Uh, well Ahmed to be very honest in one word we would like to say that there are no, no changes, changes in, in PT at all. That's right. Everything is as it is. Even in March, Pearson has come out with version number nine for the PT academic score guide. But even in that version, I don't think there's any change. No. Everything there's, is the same. Yes. Pattern People is the are same. spreading the rumors that there is a change. The only change they're talking about is addition of new material new essays and just these minors but there's no absolutely no change in the marking or any yes, other yes no change in the thing. pattern no yes. change in the structure but as tanu correctly said definitely pt is adding new questions even before they've added new questions on many occasions and obviously they're entitled to add new questions they should right. add new questions it's not that they keep on asking the same thing again yeah. and again just because few students are getting you know different essays and yes. different summaries so but they still, think that it is changed. But, but if the techniques are right, I don't think it should be a problem that's at all. very right. And, and despite Tanu, of the yes. changes, we are still getting good scores, getting friends. Good scores. And Tanu, regarding reading, what would you like to say to our viewers? How are the questions coming in reading these days? Oh, I've heard from the lots of students are giving <coughs> the feedback that reading has become really very easy. It's coming So yes. if they've changed a bit of the essays and summaries, the reading part has become very easy. Yes. The options are very easy. The words are very easy. Yes. And we know the meanings of all the words. So there is no complex vocabulary. Right. So basically for the time being, since 18th of March, reading has been coming pretty easy. That's right. So actually I would like to say that PT has made PT even easier. PT has made itself even a bit easier as, as far as my opinion is concerned. And this is the right time to take PT if you're not taken it before. Even if you've taken it before, still this is the right time <laughs> to take it and get done with it once and for all. Right. So we got another question, question. Yes. from Kavya, Kavya and she's asking, do we need to complain in such timeline issues? <laughs> so yes, Kavya, definitely you should lodge a complaint. And just to let you know, one of my students really? did lodge a complaint. Her name is Arlene, by the way. Now, again, she got 
17 questions and after the summaries the timer was 17 minutes and two summaries before that so total time was 37 minutes which was not as for the guideline she did lot of complain but unfortunately even after four or five days she did get the revert on that that PT is entitled to change the duration of the timer and there are no changes as per in the test so basically it is not a technical issue it is not a hardware issue it is not a software issue it is just something which they can they do. can do it yes. and i think very soon pt will also come up with a revised guideline that is what i think yes. they have to come unlikely. very That's unlikely right. these days earlier it used to happen but now no i don't think so so the only thing we recommend our students is to be more focused and practice as much as you can before yes. giving the exam so just in case you get less time frame you should be able to complete the full exam Yes, so practice under tight time, time conditions, schedule. yes. yes Otherwise, right. random practice is of no help, we believe. That's right. All right, uh, and so, thank you, Ahmed. We are thankful that you also enjoyed our question, I mean, answer. Uh, Ma'am, even Baljeet has a question. So the question is, do we need to be more worried about these new changes? Um, not really, Baljeet. As we are saying, that if PT is changing, let's say, few minutes here and there in the modules, it's they, coming easy. Yes, they are they are giving at the same very time they are giving you the leeway to complete the reading as yes. quickly as you can. And it's coming easier. That's what our yes. general I think the general impression we can gather is that it's becoming a bit easier than what yes. it was. The scoring pattern, I mean the scoring algorithm might change a bit here and there, but I don't think it should concern us. That's we right. should get a ninety easily. Yes, it's sometimes easy. it is a bit hard to <coughs> complete the exam. Yeah. And that's why we are telling over and over again to practice under tight time frame. Yes, so be quick even in the real exam, have, a pres have your presence yes. of mind. For example, just to give an example, let's say in listening fill in the blanks, we have two options. Either we can type down the blanks, yes. or we can note them down, and then, then type them, them, and then check them. So basically, obviously, now if you want to save time, better switch to typing instead That's of right. noting. So that is obviously one way in which you can manage your time, you can save your time. So small changes here and there will give you a big advantage in the score which you And get. also you should prioritize things. Task, so if yes, you know yes. that, you know, the MCQs and this highlight, highlight summary, co yes. correct summary, they are the little bit low weighted tasks, yes. I would recommend not to waste your time That's on these right. tasks. Rather focus on write from dictation and the other things which have more weightage. That's right, absolutely right. So I think That's we it. are done with yes. most of the questions, Tanu. And yes, I think we are done with all the questions today. Yes, we are. So, um, as Tanu correctly said, friends, next week we will see the task which is multiple choice to single answer. Very similar to highlight correct summary, but the only thing is that we do have a question there. In highlight correct summaries, we don't have any yeah, questions. That's right. And last but not the least, we have a question again from Krish. He's asking that, is it true that most of the people are getting two essays? Very right. So, yes, it is true. Even before people used to get two essays, I mean, PT has already mentioned in the guideline that you can get, I should say, you should get minimum one essay and maximum essay. Two, two essays. So when PT's guideline says that you can get two essays, you should expect two essays. If you get one essay, be happy about it. But if you get two essays, don't worry much because that means that your writing score can shoot up a lot just on the basis of those two essays as well. That's right. So there's that's less right. score from the remaining tasks, more score from the essay. So focus on correct grammar, correct English. Hopefully, your writing score will be up as well. Yes, and if you're good, you know, if you're aware with the templates and you know how to, you know, write an essay and you've got the structure, you've got the basics clear, whether you get two essays or three essays or one essay, it should not matter. It's, it's very easy to write the essay rather than doing the other task which yes. contributes marks towards writing. That's right. Uh, but yes, you're right. Many students have been getting two essays That's very right. frequently in the past two weeks. So yes, your observation is completely true. It is true. Yes. All right, Tanu, I think we'll wrap up the video now. That's right. And um, next week again, we'll see you guys on Thursday with the task of listening with us called multiple choice to single answer. And yeah. just to remind you again, friends, this Saturday we do have the master class. Don't waste your time. Just go to pttutorials.com and register under a minute. And also if you're interested for coaching, don't think twice. We are running the offer for an unlimited coaching. 
in our Clayton branch and our Melbourne CBD branch. Just so for $6.99. $6.99 plus GST, you can enroll for that. So don't waste time. And with that unlimited package, you'll also get 25 practice tests from pttutorials.com. Yes, friends, 25. Three are scored, 22 are unscored, but still you'll get the feedback for all the tests. Right. So it's a great deal. Try not to miss on it as well. So once again, thank you so much, Sanu. Thank you, Madam. And you thank away. you, friends, for watching our live testimonial. Thank, thank you. you. Great to have you all. All the best.